Is Jake Kiska of Greta Van Fleet a good guitar player? Well, there are several things to consider here. First of all is originality, and I think anyone who's listened to Greta Van Fleet would agree that originality is not necessarily their strong suit. The Zeppelin influence is almost overwhelming from the way they dress, to the way they film themselves, to the way they play songs, their song structures, but most of all, the spirit of the entire endeavor is based completely on Led Zeppelin, whether they will admit it or not. Apart from that, there's the issue of musical prowess. The first thing to mention in this regard is that the band is very musical, very strong. My personal vote for the strongest musician in the band would probably be Sam, with Josh coming in second, Jake coming in third, and Danny kind of limping in behind. Now, when I say limping in, that doesn't mean that I don't think he's a good drummer. He's just the least of the lot. As far as Jake goes, I think one thing that differentiates him very much from Jimmy Page is that he is less effective in the studio than he is live. For evidence of this, you should go listen to something like Lover, Lever, Taker, Believer, and any live version of it. And if you look at their version of Broken Bells from the Candlelight Sessions, he is just an incredible live performer. In the studio, his derivative guitar work, it seems even less original. Live, there's an excitement that just doesn't translate into the studio. Overall, I do think he's a good guitar player. I think he is a pastiche-based guitar player, meaning he doesn't have much to offer in the way of innovation. But he's getting better and better at stringing along old-time licks into a coherent fashion and he's definitely bringing that hypercharged blues bass lead guitar to an entirely new generation of people.